lazy douche bag and a lot of times when it comes to making rough doors for this barn I, that's no different. Um, I tend to take the easy way, the simplest way for me especially if you have anything that's a little out of whack, anything like that, but uh, the long and short of it is I'll cut my boards to length I need, I'll put the thickness, I'll put a board the thickness of what I want at the bottom then I'll just put the boards up, screw a scab piece across them, get the top and bottom on, put the hinges on right in place, and everything's kind of good to go. Um, it's definitely the lazy man's way of doing it, but I'll tell you what, it works well for me. And I actually prefer it just because it is a little more accurate. May not be everybody's cup of tea, but works pretty well. I just eyeball everything, make sure it's kind of square and tight in there where I want it. And it really doesn't get much easier than this, as long as you can hold it in place, that is. Throw a screw in. There. Not too bad. Okay. I well, apologize for the uh, lack of camera angles, guys. It's working in this corner. It's kind of hard to get a good camera angle for you folks, and uh, makes it a little difficult. But we work with what we have. We do what we can do. Now, this door, it's all green, so it's going to shrink just like all the rest of the green lumber. But we will probably put a skin on the backside or something to keep any sawdust and air infiltration from getting into that room. This is all going to get sealed up well. Somebody mentioned being worried about her having her exercise room near a wood shop. She's getting a regular floor. The walls are going to be sealed up. Ceiling's getting insulated with uh, like a painted plywood on it. It'll be fine. We won't be having a lot of stuff getting in there. She's not going to know what to do with herself having a real door in here finally. For a long time it was just a flap of plastic. This will be nice. Now let's see. Let's see if this fits. Ha! We'll take it.
the door is still screwed in place up here. That's why I throw my hinges on. Just so much easier to do it that way for me anyway. Like I said, you guys take what I do and take it with a grain of salt. Everybody has a different method of doing things. My way certainly isn't always right. It's not always wrong. Just what works for me. Now this being a pine door, it's a little heavier right now because it's green. But believe me, as soon as this thing dries up, these doors become feather light. Let's get the bottom one on. I don't know what I was thinking getting hinges this small. Uh, I'm going to have to pick up a bigger set. These look, uh, <laughs> these look kind of tiny on this door. And they're plenty strong enough, but why take the chance? Get the hasp and lock on here since I'm going to be reloading in this room. I want to make sure I can lock it. Now I will say something like this will do nothing against a thief. If they want to get into if they want to get into this space, they're going to get into it. But my concern more is uh, I don't need my kids coming out playing with gunpowder and all that stuff. Especially if it's you know when it's in the house, I can kind of keep an eye on everything. But seeing as how it's not in the house, I want to make sure I want to make sure I have my bases covered. Of course, the boss lady's probably not going to have probably not going to like having to unlock a door all the time. But safety first when it comes to your kids. You know, it's funny. That's that was the reason I never built the stairs until uh, after I fell off the damn building. I was worried about the kids because they were a lot smaller. It's so always worried about the kids getting up on the second floor and um, falling off. And of course, once we fell, didn't have much choice but to get those stairs in because that was the only way I could get up up here to work.
nice. Ah, that'll work. Well, there we go. Finally have a door up here. Finally have wood on the walls up here. She's been dealing with sheet plastic rattling around for the last two winters. And to be honest with you, I'm sick of listening to it when I'm up here uh, working. But as we're getting this building sealed up better and better all the time, um, a lot of that movement's going away. I have one more section to pull the plastic down, but I have a big mess in that corner I have to clean up first. Got to get a strip of wood right there. Got to get a, uh, the rest of the box joists on those attic, that attic space up there. And over the course of the winter, hopefully, we're going to start headed down the rest of this uh, second floor of that attic space. That's going to make it so much easier to heat in here, because so much heat gets trapped up in the peak of this thing. Um, obviously, the lack of insulation on the metal We'll be hitting that as we can, but I tell you what, the dowel board is not cheap. Um, it'd probably be wiser for what I'm doing with that two inch stuff down below for the floor. It'd probably be smarter to put it up here in the ceiling, but uh, it's what I have and I need this floor done kind of first. A lot of that, a couple of reasons for that, I won't get into it here, but it's definitely needed. For one, when I'm down in the blacksmith shop, I mean the hood works really well down there. But obviously I don't want all the fumes from the blacksmith shop permeating up here all the time. And uh, that's one reason I have to get it done. And I have just about enough to do this floor and not nearly enough to do the rest of this roof. Um, we will be doing fiberglass insulation for the attic space. It's only R21, but it'll be a lot better than... It'll be a whole sight better than nothing up here, I can tell you that. But uh, anyway... That's where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like our lazy man door here. I'm happy with that. It's just an easy way to do it. I'm all about the easy way to do it. Um, it's kind of foolproof. You put your pieces in right in place. Guaranteed to open and close when you're done with it. Remember on the one edge to leave a little gap there so that the corner of the door does not hit your door jam, whatever it is that you're opening against. Now, I had to put this where it is up tight to this queen post, and that's mostly because, uh, well, I just don't have enough room that way to swing it and still get a decent door height. Now, I'm 6'2", as you guys can see, I'm barely cutting it here. So, but we have enough, works just fine. So anyway, that's her. I'll see you guys on the next one.